Hi everyone and welcome back to a everything that's in Poundland going into September 2021. So I'm going to go through all the different sections, the stationery, the garden range, the beauty, the home and also what they've got left over from summer as well. So yes, I really hope that you enjoy seeing everything that's new in Poundland too. So I'm just going to start off with the beauty section. So I did spot these body gems. Now I don't know, I used to have these, I remember when I was a teenager, so I don't know if that's something that's coming back in fashion or whether it's some sort of like a festival theme. But yeah, they did have a few little bits of those. They also had the Jess Wright false nails and some beauty things from her range as well. There's also some glitter gel there as well. They also had some Eyler and apparently I think Panna do have a bit more of that range, but that's all they had in my shop this time anyway. And then I did spot these. It took me a little while to work out what they were, but they're obviously toe separators for when you are painting your toenails. They're just like little strawberries. I thought they were quite cute. So I thought I'll just show you that. And then they also had a couple of makeup bags too. Now I'm really sorry about this video. It's obviously slightly smaller because I filmed it. Um, not quite right but anyway this is the hairband range I just wanted to show you because they had loads and loads of different hairbands and scrunchies and hair clips and ev everything like that so if you're looking for anything like that or you know for your daughter or anything they've got loads in Pineland and obviously everything is one pound as you can see so yeah they had the floral hair scrunchies which I've picked up for myself and those ones there they also had these hair bows which I thought were really pretty. I have shown this in my back to school pylon video if you haven't seen that already. Um, but I just wanted to include it in this one as well just because the range was so good. They also had the Fern McCann range which I think has been in Poundland a little bit for a little while anyway. But I just wanted to show you that there as well. So they've got some body butter and then this is also the perfume from Jess Wright. So that's £2.50 so it's just really super cheap. Um, and then they've got this Nivea range now. Personally, I only use natural skincare. If you know me and in my channel, you know I'm an ambassador for Tropic Natural Skincare because I just only like to put natural stuff on my skin. But I just wanted to include this anyway because this was new and obviously this is a what's new in Poundland video. So I just wanted to show you everything that is new. I didn't see this last time I went there. So yeah, it must be pretty new. Um, and then they've obviously got all their other different cosmetics in there and some more of that range as well and yeah just all those ingredients is kind of why I avoid things like that that's why I only want natural stuff but yeah I just wanted to show you that as what they've got there so then I just went to have a look at what they've got in their summer range so kind of obviously left over at the end of summer now unfortunately or fortunately depending on your perspective but they do still have quite a lot of sun cream in store if you are still have your holiday to come, as I know a lot of people still might be going like abroad and stuff over the next couple of months. I thought these mosquito wet wipes and bands also, they look really good if you were going anywhere where you may get bitten by mosquitoes, that's great. They did have all this kind of stuff left over as well, so again, if you are heading off on holiday soon, then do make sure you go to Pina because in my one they did have quite a lot of these luggage labels, they've got a poncho there, they've got these travel plugs, um, they had like inflatable pillows, like lug luggage scales, all different things like that really. I love these little travel pots. I did see this type of stuff in this shop a couple of months ago. Um, and I guess it's slightly depleted, but there is still a lot there. I actually picked up those carabiners, bin or bean, I'm not sure how you say it, little clips from my pram. Um, they're quite useful. And then these are really good for one pound. I picked up, I think it's exactly the same from eBay. I think they're like two or three pound but they were one pound in Poundland, so that was great. They also had some motion sickness relief bracelets, and then this like multi-tool, which is obviously kind of to do with their camping range, but I thought it'd be quite good even for like a little gift for someone who likes gadgets, I thought that was quite good for only one pound as well. They also have padlocks, and then these travel clothes hangers, which I couldn't quite work out, um, but yeah, obviously if you're going camping or traveling, that's great, even if you've got stuff holiday next year to buy it in Poundland now and just get yourself prepared for it is well worth it I would say. So then they had the kind of more like children's and toys summer section still with some in quite a lot of stuff had gone it was a lot smaller than last time I went in but they did have a few games as you can see there there's like fishing ones and they still had quite a lot of these water guns and water pistols and then that is just a 
beach bag there, like a wet proof one for any of you like your wet swim costume or something like that. They had this massive water gun there as you can see and then also some of these beach buckets so they did have more um, before but obviously that's sold but they did have still these ones which look really good. They had this sun tent for £6 which I think would be great if you're going out or just in your garden and also that little pram there which I thought was really sweet and then this paddling pool as well I mean who knows we may still get a heat wave we may still get some use out of it this year who knows but otherwise if you are going on holiday at any point soon then yeah go to Poundland because they did have a lot of holiday and summer stuff they did have a few barbecue things as well so they had that there for one pound and then I spotted this bunting, this Hessian bunting, which I thought would be amazing. It's only a pound. Like if you've got a wedding or something like that, you know, or like a birthday or any celebration, I thought that'd be great. You could kind of like put your own letters on it. So I really wanted to show you that when I saw it. They did still have quite a lot of this like picnic set or like outdoor cutlery, things like that. They had those napkins there. And yeah, I really like that like mint green colour of those bowls and plates. I thought that's a really nice colour. I like that. Um, and also they have cups in that range as well. They also had these reusable ice cubes which I just wanted to show you because I've not used them before and please do tell me how good they are, I'm quite intrigued to know. So then I went to have a look at their garden section. So I did see this um, like trough before last time I went but they still have loads there as you can see, I mean it's quite like rough um, but it's only a pound, I thought that looked really nice, even as like a little gift with like pots in it, I thought that'd be really good. These remind me of the IKEA ones which are metal, but obviously these are plastic and they're a lot cheaper, but they're just as pretty as the IKEA ones, so I did like those as well. They then had these little windmills which I thought were really sweet, and then lots of different seeds. There was one there called Christmas Dinner which I thought was quite cool. Um, and then they did have lots of this kind of like fairy door and fairy things I guess if you're like recreating a little fairy garden so I wanted to show you that and then also these big windmills which would be really fun in the garden if you have children or even if you don't have children I'm sure you'd get some fun out of it. They also had lots of gardening gloves and gardening tools all things like that. That ivy there I thought that'd be really good for like doing like craft bits um, or anything really so you get like just over two meters for a pound so that, was, that was great. They also had more, so this is more of the fairy stuff, and I would imagine, I mean I don't really know, but I'd imagine some of this stuff could be quite expensive in other shops, but obviously this was all one pound. So yeah, if that's kind of your type of thing, then they've got lots in Poundland, and it's, I would imagine, much cheaper here than other places. So the last little garden bit I wanted to show you, I really liked these bulb lights there for £6. I thought how nice are those if you are having like any garden parties or barbecues still. And I did like that kind of fake plant there which you can see. So moving across to the homeware section, they did have a nice few bits actually. I was quite pleasantly surprised and new things that I hadn't seen before. Kind of like the same feel as what I saw in the range, so there's a lot of Buddhas, a lot of elephants, very like tropical vibes I think. They had these candles, so coconut and vanilla, blackcurrant and rhubarb, for only £3 which is great and as you can see they are a really good size as well. They had a few throws there and then I did really like those wooden elephants, I thought they were sweet and for only £4 I thought that was really good. They had these little pots there as you can see and then these little drawers for £5 so they're pink, I didn't really know if it kind of went in with that range actually but I thought they were sweet, really useful and I really liked that pot there, I love that pink colour, I thought that was really pretty. I did spot in with the Pep & Co range which is quite small in my Poundland but they did have these cushions for £5 and obviously that does come with the cushion insert as well, that kind of like boho vibe. I thought they were really nice. Now they're false flowers, I have to say, like close up. You can't really probably see it on this video. They're not amazing quality as possibly you might expect, but they do look the part from far away. Um, they had more candles in this section here. Those were three pounds. They had a random saucepan in my pan line. Maybe your, your one might have more of that kind of range. Um, and then they had these false orchids as well, which did look quite good. I really liked these little cactus 
cacti plants in those little pots. I thought they were really, really effective and they've got three different colours. They had green, grey and pink, which you can see there. So I thought they were really good and really pretty. I thought that would look really nice somewhere. They had quite a few different photo frames. I think that was meant to be a money box section, but it kind of had a few random stuff in. Um, I did see this photo frame last time I went there, I think for £2, and they also had that quarter one, so they are still in there, they're not new, but they're quite cheap, I thought they were really nice as well. Pineland had lots of incense sticks and also the incense holder, so I'm not sure kind of if that's cheap, but you know, a pound for a tube doesn't seem too bad. And they had lots of tea lights, and then they also had this LED candle, which I thought it was a pound at the time, but obviously that is the wrong label I can see there now, so maybe it might have been a bit dearer, but that is good that they have them there, because I do like the false ones. They then had some crockery, so these are obviously kind of like children's plates, they had a blue one, which is a robot, and then this like pink mouse or something, which I thought was quite sweet, and only a pound, which I think is really, really cheap. And then I don't think Poundland kind of tend to change this up too often, at least in my shop. Do let me know if it's different in your one. But some of this kind of looked the same as what I remember from like last time. But they had lots of different glasses there, lots of different mugs, and it is all so, so cheap. I really like that lemon one. That was a pound. It definitely looks a lot more expensive than one pound. And then they also had lots of cutlery. So if you need like any spare or anything, they've got loads there for a pound as well. They do have a small baking section, so they do have a few things in here. Um, I just wanted to show you this silicone oven mitt. I've not seen one like that before. It's like just for your fingers, so I'm not sure kind of like how useful that would be, but I just wanted to show you that. And then I love these bag clips. I've got some from Cherries previously. They're only a pound. They're really, really handy. And these are actually ice cube trays. They're like long, thin ones, which I thought is quite different. And then again, apologies for the like size of this bit, but I just wanted to show you the welcome mat there. That was only three pound, which I thought was really cheap, and I really liked that kind of like tropical print there. So on to the DIY sections. I just want to quickly show you the best bit. So I always buy these little pads. We put them on the bottom of our chairs and furniture and things just to protect our wooden flooring. So that's always a good thing to get in Poundland. Also masking tape and cello tape too. Light bulbs are something which are really good to get there because obviously they're a pound, they're really cheap and it did have like loads of these different lights, light up switches and things, it was really quite interesting, <laughs> it was a bit random. Um, and then they had glue, so I actually did buy this yellow one just to fix a drawer front that has fallen off in our house. But anything like this, I don't often go to that section, but if you do want anything for around the house, Poundland do do so much stuff, and it's all really cheap. They have those command hooks there. But yeah, it's just a lot cheaper than elsewhere, so that's a great little aisle to stop by, and yeah, I do get those hooks quite often. They're really useful. You probably will already know, but Poundland have a great section or selection of different phone leads and chargers and cables. They also have lots of headphones too and phone cases. I did spot these headphones for children, which I didn't see last time, they were £8. But I thought they sounded quite good, they had like only a limited volume. Then I wanted to show you the cleaning aisles. So as always, Poundland have a massive, massive range of cleaning bits. It's probably one of the biggest sections in my shop anyway. I'm not sure what I think about laundry liquid that smells of cake, <laughs> it's a bit unusual, but yeah, they did have lots of fibrinosa stuff as well. They only had one Zaflora in my one, but they may have more in your Poundland as well, if your one is bigger than my one. They had lots of Silip Bang, I've not seen that one before, so I'm not sure if that is new or not, do let me know if it is new, but I thought that sounded quite good, so those bottles were £2, they had Big packs of wipes which are only a pound. I do prefer ones if they are biodegradable, but you know it is really useful to have wipes, so they had those big packs there. So on to a different section now. I'm going to show you the wrapping paper. I really liked the Harry Potter one. I wish I'd bought the hat for my husband, it's his birthday soon. But they had some really good and different wrapping paper there. Poundland also have lots of gift bags and they do in general just have a really good section kind of to do with this like birthday party celebration aisle. It's all always a really good section. 
so then kind of more party wise they have lots of balloons and candles so they have a different number of candles there and lots of different balloons they had ones for children there as you can see so thomas the tank engine fireman sam and spider-man so i thought they would be really good for children and also they did have the balloon pumps as well which would make things a lot easier I really liked these confetti balloons, I thought they were really pretty and they also had lots of badges and as you can see they've got lots of different candles there. My Poundland also had some of these kind of like those ball decorations, they call them honeycomb ones and I really liked the different garlands and banners so that was brilliant. Then like the baby section they had lots of these comforters which I thought were really cute, like a massive range there. Those sensory balls were only £3, which I think is a really, really good price. They are usually a lot more expensive than that. And also the stacking rings there. I was just really genuinely surprised and pleased at what I found in this little section. I also saw these BPA-free stick-on bowls. I thought this would be really handy to like, you could use it as a lunchbox, but then when you're out, you kind of can get it and just put it on a high chair. They did have these squirty bath toys, which I have something similar. I don't use them in the bath because I think they can collect mould quite easily. Um, but yeah, they're only a pound, which I think is really good and really sweet. So I thought that was well worth showing you. They also had some non-slip mats. I think they had a splash mat as well. And then these kind of ice lolly moulds for only a pound, which can be quite hard to get hold of in different shops, but they do have them in Poundland. And then my one didn't have many clothes or anything, but I just wanted to quickly show you what they did have. They had lots of socks. So if your children are starting school, there's some girls' knee-high socks there. They did also have a lot of slippers, and they do still have flip-flops, which are only £1.50, so super, super cheap. I guess, I'm not sure how pri much Primark ones are, probably similar, but yeah, they did have a few there, and also the men's ones at the top, as you can see. And then socks, I know it's not that interesting, but you know, if you're in the market for some socks, then Poundland do have some. So for a pack of five, I think it was, yeah, they're £2.50 there. That is the women's ones there. They had quite a good selection. And then also for men's, these were cheaper for some reason. They were only £2 for a pack of five. So they had lots of different stickers, um, two for a pound, so like children ones and more kind of like craft ones as you can see like different numbers or ones for your office and things just a lot there as you can see they had a good selection of different wool and like sewing things so if that is your kind of thing then they did have a lot there or you know even it's just useful to have around the house isn't it and then like stationery wise i have done a complete back to school video which i showed all of the stationery in my Poundland pretty much so if you want like a really in-depth look at that sort of thing then do go and watch that video but I'm just going to show you a quick overview um, obviously if you've already seen this video then you probably would have seen most of what I'm going to show you now but yes yeah, so my Disney my Disney my Poundland had a really good Disney range of stationery so yeah, I love this set here it had like a big notebook and a pencil tin and all different kinds of stationery in there and that was five pounds which I don't think is too bad at all. They have this like Disney princess and as you can see they're kind of little pictures. It's not like really obviously Disney either but it's just quite pretty in these pastel colours. And I really liked that drinks bottle there, the Snow White one. I just thought that green is a lovely colour and £3 which I don't think is too bad. They also had the Disney Princess lunch bag there. It says time to shine with those like little pictures as you can see, I guess to represent the different princesses. And I really liked this Little Mermaid notebook. The Little Mermaid is my favourite one, so I might have to go back and go and get that one. They also had some Disney pens, which you can see there. Um, and yeah, they had this little set of like, I guess it's lunch boxes or snack pots, I think they've called them, but they could be useful for lots of different things. And they were only two pounds. They did have some academic diaries, which obviously start in September. So if you are a student or anything, or your child might want one, Poundland do have a good little section of those. And obviously Poundland are great for stationery. They have so much there. And again, that's a really big section in mine anyway. I love those different colour changing pens, which I did show you in my last video. And then obviously they've got all the different notebooks, like all different sizes and lined and whatever you want, really. Poundland pretty much have it all. Um, and I did spot this little organiser just made out of cardboard. So, you know, it's only like cheap, but I just thought that was quite useful just to get yourself a bit more organised 
for only £1.50. I loved this folder, so I found this in like the main stationery range. Um, yeah, again, Disney one. I thought that was really, really nice, and that was £2. They also had quite a few different like planners and budget planners and things, so I'm just going to show you that one there, kind of like rose gold one. And then they had this kind of stationery range, like these pastel colours, um, rainbow things, which seems to be quite popular and in fashion now, so if you like that or if your child likes that then plan and have quite a lot of that kind of range and those sorts of colours you can see another rainbow pen there and they had that little range there and as you can see that is three for two on this little section which I thought is really really good they have lots of different like felt tip pens and crayons and markers and um, they had gel pens then which were always really popular <laughs> when I was at school and they obviously still sell that kind of thing now they did have that pack of jumbo crayons there, which I thought were really good, only a pound for 16 of them. And they had some magic painting, well they have one magic painting book, just that one, which I did buy for my son, which you'll know if you saw my last video, um, but you just add water, so it's like a mess free alternative to painting really. Um, and then they had this little like craft section, um, they've got key rings there which you can paint and there's like lots of bits that you can make things with um, which I think you know, is really good for anyone really I guess it's kind of aimed at children this little section but I'm sure adults can use these sort of things if you would like crafting they had some little pom-poms which you can just about see there but yes that is about it really for everything that is in Pineland so I really hope that you enjoyed having a look around my store do let me know if you enjoy these types of videos please do subscribe if you do and I'll see you next time Bye everyone!